Hello everybody, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. Okay, I'm wearing yellow even though yellow is not my color because I'm wearing it anyways because I'm watching Little Miss Sunshine. During one of the live streams, I got all the DVDs that I had gotten in all the packages that time, put them in a pile, pulled out four, I think, and then put a poll live. And the winner was Little Miss Sunshine. I'm excited to watch this. It was described to me as like an indie, fun, funny film with Steve Carell. So I think he elevates anything he's in and I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's about a family. I love a big family dynamic. I'm kind of excited to start getting into like the more maybe not as mainstream films and little indie gems, hopefully, like this. Okay, let's get started. I'm watching during the day today, which is kind of fun. I'm hopped up, you know, I've got some energy. I'm not watching late at night, so it's gonna be fun. And by hopped up, I know, I mean like I'm drinking some caffeine. That's, that's my hop, okay? I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Just kidding, name that movie. Okay, let's get started. Remember, if you want to vote on these kind of polls, well, one, watch the lives, they're so fun. Um, but two, you could also join Patreon where we have polls all the time. Also full length reactions and a community of movie lovers. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You're the best and don't forget to like. Okay, let's do it. I was telling some that, someone that I was watching Little Miss Sunshine and they immediately go, I'm walking on sunshine. And then the other person I was with said, that's the song you go to. And they were like, give me that sunshine, sunshine. And then the other person was like, I think of sunshine in the morning or something makes you happy. Anyways, there's apparently a lot of songs of sunshine. What's your, what's the one that pops into your head? Oh, we're going, okay. The winner of a $30,000 scholarship, Erica Schwartz. Oh, it's her. I love her, actually. There are two kinds of people in this world, winners and losers. Inside each and every Greg one of them. Greg this is so fun. With my nine-step Refuse to Lose program, you now have the necessary tools to put your losing habits behind you and to go out and make your dreams come true. I want you to go out in the world, and I want you to be winners. Thank you. Oh. Is that Paul? That one guy? Is his name or Dan? Oh, I don't know why that makes my legs go numb. Richard, he has nowhere else to go. Oh no. He looks unwell. I know her from a lot of stuff too, but I already know I'm not gonna be able to place it. I need you to keep him away from sharp objects. I'm so glad you're still here. Oh, that makes one of us. You want to talk or no? Down here we have you with Dwayne. Dwayne? Hi, Uncle Frank's here. Hi, Dwayne. Listen, we can't have you sleeping alone, the doctor said. We got along fine. It's, please, Frank. It's weird to see him sad. He's so happy usually. Well, I'm just wondering if this darn book deal is done or not. If, could you please just have him call me anytime over the weekend? Wait, you don't talk anymore? You don't speak because of Friedrich Nietzsche. Who's Nietzsche? Olive, come on, dinner time! So who do you hang out with? No one? Oh, he really doesn't talk. Like, this is a vow of silence or something. I hate everyone. <laughs> Good to see you. Cheryl, I couldn't help noticing Dwayne has stopped speaking. 
He's going to join the Air Force Academy, become a test pilot, and he's taken a vow of silence. Hi, Uncle Frank. Oh, hey, Olive. Wow, you're getting big. She's yeah. so freaking adorable. What happened to your arms? Olive? I had a little accident. I'm okay. What's that, chicken? Every night is the f***ing chicken. Hey, Dad. I was just thinking how good some fried chicken sounds right now. I've not had fried chicken in so long. How did it happen? Your accident. <clears throat> Uncle Frank didn't really have an accident. He tried to kill himself. You did? Why? Uh, I wanted to kill myself to because Richard. I was he's very he's unhappy. Man. Oh, this is tough. Why were you unhappy? Look how cute uh, she is. Well, I fell in love with someone who didn't love me back. One of my grad students. I was very much in love with him. You fell in love with the boy? Yes, I did. That's silly. <laughs> the boy that I was in love with fell in love with another man, Harry Sugarman, perhaps the second most highly regarded Proust scholar. Oh, Proust. That would be me, Rich. I said some things that I shouldn't have said. I was fired from my job and forced to move out of my apartment. And... That's when you tried to... Well, no. Oh. What happened was, two days ago, the MacArthur Foundation awarded a genius grant to Larry Sugarman, and that's when... Decided to check out early. And I failed at that as well. Tell them about your uh, routine while you're doing this. Little Miss Chili Pepper is a beauty contest. Little Miss Chili Pepper? Uh, what do you think your chances are? I think I can win. Yeah, well, good luck. Not about luck, Frank. Luck is the name losers give to their own failings. It's about wanting to win. Boy. Ooh, there is a message from Cindy on the machine. Something about Little Mrs. Sunshine. What? That's the girl who won had to forfeit her crown. Think about diet pills, but anyway, now she has a place in the state contest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. This Sunday? We're done. Are you guys going? Where does that leave us? We can't do it. I just. I... Nope. I'll just. Oh, this it. is a pet peeve. I won! I'm going! We're going! Well, how are you going to get around out there? <sighs> we'll rent a car. This is our seed money. Well, if I had a little help bringing I'm... it in. Don't... How are you going to fit Grandpa on the Miata? Well, Grandpa does not have to come. I coached her. I gave it a move. We can't afford it. Well, that's what we're going to do unless you have a better idea. Wait a second. Wait a second. Here, this is dessert. This is making me look. Uh, uh. All right, I'll drive the bus. I was told explicitly not to leave Frank by himself. Then Something we happened. Can't I go then, unless Dwayne and Frank go with us. Road trip. Okay. <laughs> Why not? This is unfair. All I ask is that you. Leave me alone. I will give you permission for flight school. But I'm not going to <laughs> have any fun. <laughs> There's no sense in entering a contest if you don't think you're going to win. Do you think you can win, Little Miss Sunshine? Yes. To California. Oh, his motivational speaking is every part of his personality. He needs to chill on that a little bit. Not on your watch. Thank you, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, it is a family dynamic, a dysfunctional family, but you know what? We're all a little dysfunctional. Oh, we're going in a bus. But, okay, here's the thing. Have you guys seen the world of children's beauty pageants? Can I give you some advice? I don't want you making the same mistakes I made when I was young. Can't wait to hear this. Dwayne, that's your name, right? F a lot of women, Dwayne. Hey. Not just one woman. Dad. You can tell me, Dwayne, are you getting any? Come on, please. He yeah. said, is that your name? Dad. You should be getting that young Dad, stuff. Stop Will it. you kindly not interrupt me, Richard? See, right now, you're jail. Oh, my gosh. Jail, I'm with I'm with Richard on this. What happened at Sunset Manor? Frank. I paid my money. They took my money. I should be able to do what the fuck I want. Started snorting heroin. I'm old. What stuff will kill you? I'm old. Look, I know you're a and all, but maybe you can appreciate this. There's four women for every guy. What are you guys talking about? Politics. Oh. Fuck a lot of women, kid. I have no reason to lie to you. Oh boy. I I'm sorry. I um. Take your time. Don't apologize, all. It's a sign of weakness. Can I get the uh, waffles and um, what is it? Alamodi? It means it comes with ice cream. Alamodi. French translates literally as in the fashion. Alamode. Frank, shut up. Ice cream is made from cream. Cream has a lot of fat in it. Oh, let's not talk to the seven year old about diets. 
fat in the ice cream becomes fat in your body. You might become fat, and if you don't, you're gonna stay nice and skinny. Oh! Whatever you want, it's okay. Those women in Miss America, are they skinny or? This hurts my feelings. They're skinny, I guess. Guess they don't eat a lot of ice cream. Oh my gosh! And here's your ice cream. I'll be back with your waffles in a sec. Does anyone want my ice cream? Olive's not gonna have her ice cream. Yeah, do you mind if I have a little yeah, bit? Yeah, let's dig in. Uh, you sure you don't want to have some, Olive? Stop! Don't eat it all. All right, Olive. Richard. Yeah. That's how you give a kid an eating disorder, Richard. Uh, we're just dying here. What's for the numbers you came up with in Scottsdale? So, uh... Hey, did you get him? Uh, no, I can't get a signal out. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, there you go. Now put the clutch in all the way to the floor. It's on the floor. Your clutch is uh, shut. You have to order the part. How long does it take? It's the weekend. Maybe Thursday. Tell you what, uh, you, you know these, these old buses? You don't need the clutch. You only really need the clutch to go from number one to number two. But as long as you keep parking on a hill and it goes 15, 20 miles per hour, start it on third and then you go from third to fourth. What if there's no hill? What do you do? Push start. All right, here we go. Uh, here we go. Time. They have to go 15 miles an hour. Oh. Okay. Let's go, honey. Come on. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no one gets left behind. Outstanding, soldier. Outstanding. <laughs> You start with a book and then you do a media tour. Wow. Yeah, so he's in Scottsdale right now, kind of getting the whole hype thing going. How about that? Yeah, and I, I can detect that, that note of sarcasm there, Frank. But I want you to know something. I feel sorry for you, because sarcasm is the refuge of losers. That one's on the house, buddy. It is? Yeah, it's okay, on the house. Guys, that's, that's on the house. house. Wow. Guys, that's in that the was the, He started it. That's, oh, uh, hello? Stan? No. Stan Grossman. No, I know. We were uh, on the highway and I lost you. My this is going to be bad news. Okay. Well, I mean, I definitely fine. don't like Richard very much, but... Give me some... <laughs> give me something really nasty, too. I don't want any of that airbrush shit. He's dead give serious. Me, me um, that one. Yes, that one. And uh, I will have a blue raspberry slushy. I thought you were going to be in Santa Fe for the conference. I was looking for you. You supposed to be in New Haven? Well, I mean, you heard about Larry and the whole genius thing, right? Yeah. And, uh... Larry's here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there he is. Larry. I quit. It's enough is enough, you know? Right. Just, I'm weighing my options and, um... 1979, sir. Oh, make it stop. Make it stop. Well, it's great to see you yeah, again. Yeah, you too. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Read the room, gas station man. Come on, you put it in the. <sighs> I'm gonna be coming through there. I could swing. There's right the by genius with... that was in the car. But was that the grad student he yeah. fell in love with? Nothing. Let's get out of here. What? You didn't get anything? Oh my God! Where does that leave us? Let's go. Where's Olive? Oh. Oh, oh, Dear heavens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everyone's very sad and mad. We need a win, family. Whatever happens, you try to do something on your own, just more than most people ever do. You took a big chance, and I'm proud of you. Wow, Grandpa? That coming from the same guy who five minutes asked for real nasty stuff, you know? Maybe that was our win. Oh, boy. Bridget, we, we have to talk. Let's just get through this. Wait, he's happy about this? <laughs> what is happening? I have your beauty rest. Get in there. But Grandpa coaches her routines. I'm kind of scared about tomorrow. You're going to blow them out of the water. They're not going to know what hit him. Am I pretty? Olive, 
You are the most beautiful girl in the whole world. Yeah, you're just saying that. No, I'm not. I'm madly in love with you. It's not because of your brains or your personality. <laughs> I don't want to be a loser. You're not a loser. Where'd you get the idea you're a loser? Dad hates losers. Whoa. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm gonna cry. A real loser is somebody that's so afraid of not winning, they don't even try. As long as you do your best, that's okay. You have fun tomorrow, right? Thank you, Grandpa. Yeah. That's all you got? That's what he said. <sighs> I do feel bad for Richard. I feel like Stan Grossman really let him on. Let me fix this. Here we go. Hi. He's going to Scottsdale. It was him. It was him with Larry. Oh, that kid he met at the gas station was not acting like someone that loved him once. What'd he do with the van? Stan, it's Richard. I don't know where the f you are. I'm at the hotel. Call me. Stan. Stan Grossman is Brian Cranston. Hello, Stan. It's a great program. You, you said so yourself. It's not the program, Richard. It's you. No one's heard of you. Nobody cares. And we move on. Oh, hey, one setback here and, and you're ready to just quit? Richard, listen, I rammed it down their fucking throats and no one bought it. It's time to move on. Wait a second. Is he lying? Do you think he actually pitched it? This is what the nine steps are all about. Right here, Stan. Right here. You blew it, you're out. Dad, Grandpa won't wake up. Things are not going our way. Wanna take an eye test, Uncle Frank? An eye test? I'm gonna have a family meeting. Dwayne, <clears throat> family meeting. First of all, the doctor is doing everything they can to help Grandpa right now. He's had a long, eventful life, and I know he loves both of you very much. But if God wants to take him, we have to be ready to accept that, okay? Whatever happens, we are family. But I love you guys so, so much. Okay, I see you, Dwayne. You're not a total- Are you the family of Edwin Hoover? Yes. I'm sorry. We did everything we could. He was, uh, that was too much. He probably just fell asleep and never woke up. I'll have someone come talk to you about handling the remains. Is Grandpa dead? Yeah, honey, he passed away. Oh, wait! He was our coach! Okay, these are the forms you need to fill out. Uh, death certificate. A report of death. This is a brochure for a grief recovery support group. Actually, pre-arrangements have already been made in Albuquerque. If the body is crossing state lines, you're gonna need a burial transit permit from the county registrar's office. Okay, but trying to get to Redondo Beach. Ain't gonna happen. Maybe we could just go and then, and then we'll come back. You can't just abandon the body. No, no, no. There are ways we you're have not doing following things, me, sir. Right? You are not the only one that's had somebody die here today, okay? Is there any way we might be able to view the remains? Are we sure we want to do this? We'll go to Little Miss Sunshine next year, okay, honey? No, we've come 700 miles. I will be damned if I'm not making that contest, Cheryl. We're not gonna leave him. What are we doing? We're gonna take him with us. I got no note that he's not happening. If there's one thing my father would have wanted, it's to see Olive perform in Little Miss Sunshine. We'd be doing a grave disservice to his memory. Oh, we're doing a national lampoon. Okay. Let's do it. This is happening. One, two. No. I got it. I'm going after it. Come on. Look at it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. They're gonna have a dead body in the back of their car. Okay, let's go. And then what? Did I mention that I'm the preeminent Bruce scholar in the U.S.? <laughs> I gotta look up what Bruce is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Grandpa. You know, at least he had some good last words to everybody. Do you think there's a heaven? 
hard to say all of them. I don't think anyone knows for sure. I think there is one. You think I'll get in? Yes. Me off. Stuck or something. Ah. Oh. I'm being pulled over. Okay. Oh my gosh. They have a dead body. They can't start the car without pushing it. A little trouble with your horn. Yeah. Sorry. Step outside the vehicle. Do you have something in your trunk, sir? It's nothing. I don't. Sir, do you realize you just given me probable cause to search your trunk? Just, I, I, you, I, I, sir, I, put your hands on the vehicle now. Don't move. Okay. We are not getting to Little Miss Sunshine, are we? I love this stuff. God bless you. God bless you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bust you. He didn't. <laughs> Get this on the side of the list. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweetness. <gasps> <laughs> That's a little different choice. It's so illegal. All right. What happened? I'll tell you when I regain consciousness. <laughs> Down to Beach 46. <laughs> 15. Maybe a few minutes late. Mom, Dwayne has 20 20 vision. I bet he does. What's the letter in the circle? No, 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 inside the circle. It's an A. Can't you see it? Right there. Wait a second. Yeah. He's colorblind. He can't go to flight school, probably. Dwayne, I think you might be colorblind. You can't fly jets if you're colorblind. Uh, we've got a little bit of... Got her. Okay. Pull over. Okay, we're late. Get him to pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Wait, Dwayne, sit down. Sit down. God, this better be good. Right. Speak, Dwayne. <laughs> Oh, he's colorblind. He can't fly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Just, just give me a second. Oh, okay. How can this movie be so funny but so sad? Dwayne, honey, I'm sorry. We have to go. Are we sure you can't? Are you sure you can't fly jets if you're colorblind? I don't care. I'm not getting on that bus again. Dwayne, for better or worse, we're your family. No, you're not my family. Okay, I don't want to be your family. I hate you. Divorce? Bankrupt? Suicide? You losers! You losers! Honey... Oh, Olive. Tell her you don't hate her. I apologize for the things I said. I was upset and I didn't really mean them. It's okay, come on. Go. What? There, there's the hotel. There it is. There it is. No, 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 Oh my gosh. Go, Frank! You go, Frank! Our registration ended at three. Come on, have a heart. We're four minutes late. We just drove all the way from Albuquerque. We've settled on the schedule for the show. We've turned off the computers. You don't know what we've been through. I can put them in the system. Oh, Kirby, you don't have to. No, it, it's okay. It's your time. Excuse me. Thank you, Kirby. Kirby! It's Miss California. Look, it's really her. You want to go say hi? Hi, what's your name? Olive. What's your talent, Olive? I like dancing. Dancing was too hard for me. I'm a singer. You must be a good dancer. I am. Best of luck. Miss California, do you need ice cream? I love ice cream. My favorite flavor is chocolate cherry Garcia, although technically I think that's a frozen yogurt. Okay. Oh, my heavens. She eats ice cream. I heard. Oh. Okay, Olive, let's get your swimsuit on. Last touch up. What? They're they're airbrushing their seven year olds? Larry 
freaking Sugarman. Let's get out of here. Hey, I need your music. Did you choose this? No, my grandpa did. Which track? A 12. Driving five, six hours. Thought he was napping. Let's hope he doesn't have a hospital. Thank you. You take care. Band. Welcome to the 24th annual Little Miss Sunshine Pageant! Yes! <laughs> Oh, sweet Olive. Keep your confidence, my girl. Oh. I'm scared. You got this, girl. Oh, not that check. One of these girls will be crowned Little Miss Sunshine! Olive, honey, are you okay in there? I'm fine. You got a, a kid in the show? First time? Yeah. yeah. Purple Mountain. <laughs> Why is he doing that in their faces? <laughs> Her look is appropriate. Sometimes I just wish I could go to sleep till I was 18. I'll skip all this crap, high school and everything. Just... You know, Marcel Proust, total loser. Unrequited love affairs, gay. Spent 20 years writing a book almost no one reads. But he's also probably the greatest writer since Shakespeare. He, uh, he gets down to the end of his life, and he looks back and decides that all those years he suffered, those were the best years of his life. They made him who he was. All the years he was happy, you know, total waste. Didn't learn a thing. If you sleep until you're 18, oh, think of the suffering you're going to miss. <laughs> He's got a nice smile. You know what? Beauty contest. Life is one f***ing beauty contest after another. And fuck the Air Force Academy. If I want to fly, I'll find a way to fly. Yes. You, know, you do what you love and f*** the rest. Glad you're talking again, Dwayne. You're not nearly as stupid as you look. <gasps> I want them to go s support Olive. The talent competition. <laughs> He's... Who is this guy? I'm a <laughs> punchable face. I regard to... Okay, I'm liking uh, Richard more and more. Oh, look at you. Is that your costume? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just I came to wish Olive a good luck. How you doing, honey? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. I don't want her to go on. Hey, how are you feeling? Mom, I don't want Olive doing this. This place is f***ing right. He's right. People judging Olive, f*** them. You're the mom, and you're supposed to protect her. Everyone is going to laugh at her, Mom. Look, she's not a beauty queen. She's just not. And that's a good thing. She has worked so hard. She's poured everything into this. We can't just take it away from her. We gotta let Olive be Olive. Oh. Olive Hoover. Are you the family? Yeah. If you don't want to do this, that's okay. If you want to sit this one out. Do it for Grandpa and own it. It's time. Ready? Let's go. Oh, she's so cute. Miss Charisma Whiteman. Charisma? Wasn't that a smart-ass <laughs> fantasy? <laughs> Oh, Olive! Miss Olive Hoover! I'm actually nervous for her. I'd like to dedicate this to my grandpa, who showed me these moves. <laughs> Is he here? Where's your grandpa right now? In the trunk of our car. <laughs> Take it away, Olive! <laughs> Oh, 
honey. Daddy's okay. Get your daughter off this rape. Honey. <laughs> oh boy. Kirby! <laughs> yeah! All right! <laughs> the police? We were out on the condition that you never enter a daughter in a beauty pageant in California. I think we can live with that. We're back in business. Lock and load. Grandpa would have been really proud of you. You were incredible. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. They're gonna be okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. What a weirdly beautiful movie. <laughs> I can't believe I was tearing up so much in that movie. It's because of the kids. Kids always get me, but um, what a gem. It was a hidden gem. I don't even know if it's hidden because I hope everyone, I mean, <laughs> it was so weird and so quirky and so touching and charming and olive for president. It just showed a lot of like real life, you know? I fell in love with that family. Even Dirty Grandpa and even Annoying Richard, they just, it started off, you know, they're in the van and everyone's so sad and so angry, except Olive, sweet, innocent, beautiful Olive. And then on the way back, they all kind of have a smile and they're all gonna be okay. And that sounds so cliche, but like, I really liked it because I laughed out loud. It made me think. It made you love these characters. So much good character development. But like everyone was perfect for their role. That mom, she was so good and, and a good mom. And then Greg Kinnear as this dad who's just desperately trying. And you know, you gotta give it to him. He rode that bike to Scottsdale to try. I hope something takes off for him. And then Steve Carell was perfect. You know, you really believed him and he wasn't like, I mean, he was goofy in the best way, but like he had so much depth to him. And Dwayne, oh, I really loved Dwayne by the end. It was hilariously sweet. Okay, thank you so much for watching that with me. <sighs> what an unexpected treat. Everything about it was unexpected. Thank you for watching along. Okay, I'll see you again soon.